If you have code P0501, which means you have a bad wheel speed sensor, and you notice that you're having problems with acceleration, like it's only going up to 20 miles per hour, or you know you just need a new speed sensor, then I'm going to show you what to do. First, I would recommend making sure you make sure your uh, wheel lug nuts are torqued to 100 to 110 foot pounds. On this vehicle, this is a 2008 Chrysler 300, and uh, see if then the lights go off. Um, if not, then I'm going to show you how to fix the wheel sensor, including all the items and tools you need. You're going to need, uh, of course, a floor jack, a jack stand. You'll need a flat tip screwdriver to take off the centerpiece. Then you're going to need a 21 millimeter socket. Anyway, you also need the breaker bar. First, you'll put the PB blaster on the lug nuts, spray it down. Then you'll use your uh, the correct socket and breaker bar to get it off. You also might need a cheater bar right here or just a long pipe. Uh, like I said, I highly recommend uh, having extra lug nuts just in case you destroy one of your uh, lug nuts on there, then you, you have some. And if you can't remove your, your wheel lug nuts, you can also have a lug nut remover socket set. In fact, I made a separate video on how to get off the lug nuts. And this is the uh, extractor I used. Um, but again, I have a separate video you can use to watch. Uh, hopefully you can just use an impact driver to get the lug nuts off. It's also good to have a socket set just in case. Anyway, once the tire is off, you'll turn the wheel, steering wheel, so you can turn it in, turn it to the right, because this is the driver's side, left side, front. And then you're going to need a, of course, flashlight so you can see. And you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket, right? Pretty much just to get the screw off. Again, you might want to use some PB blaster and a ratchet to get it off. Then you'll use a flat tip screwdriver again to pry off the piece. Now, if you pry it off and it breaks, and uh, you just can't get it out, it should just come slip right off. But in many cases, that might not be the case. So then you gotta resort to something different. So then you'll need a drill and a drill bit. I'm using a 316 drill bit, but it could be a little smaller or a little bit bigger, it doesn't matter. Be good to have a torch kit so you can heat up the plastic you know make it soft enough and uh, then you can drill it or what you can do is you can get a two to three inch screw and you're gonna hammer it in and then pour some water on it and then try to pull it out probably with this pry bar and hammer of course uh, or you're gonna just use the needle nose pliers to, to kind of pull it out and yank it out. You also might use this tool you want to when you're hammering it in to slightly pry it if you can't get a good grip and again if all else fails just use a drill or a combination of these tools and then once you finally pull it out just go ahead and grab some electric parts cleaner just clean it up clean that up area that area up and maybe use a like an air can and then you finally get to install this so that was the quick process, and now I'm going to actually show you how to do it step by step. So, let's start. Go ahead and jack up the car. Make sure you put a jack stand underneath. Just remove all the lug nuts. Tie to the side. After removing the tire, go ahead and turn the steering wheel. Okay, right here, this is a 10 millimeter socket. So just go ahead and grab a ratchet or socket or impact driver and take it off. You can put some PV blaster on here and then to loosen it up and then take it off. So this is what happened broke when I tried using the flat tip to pull it off and 
can see, this is rock hard. Rock hard. Let's see. Rock hard. So now, I'm going to show you what to do. Go ahead and start drilling this in. If you don't want to drill that out, you can also use the torch. This might even be quicker. Okay, heat the plastic up, up for the 30 seconds. You could also just heat the, uh, heat, heat the tip of the screw. Doesn't matter. Go ahead and take a hammer and a screw and knock that in there while it's nice and warm still. Go ahead and pour some water over it so it cools down. Get your pry bar. Just start hammering that out. Okay, in my case, I just got a big chunk out. Try to use a pliers. Need on those pliers or a bent nose pliers. Okay, let's go and drill some more on here. After drilling for a good amount of time, hammering this through the side. Getting to see a piece come out, that's good. So I'm gonna take my needle on those pliers and see what I can pull out. Grip on it. Now, let's see. Just, oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Whew. That was one tough piece to get out. Had to drill it and then put my punch around the side, get it in deep enough, pry it a little bit, and then, as you saw, finally got out the needle on those pliers, got a good grip on it, but hammering this in, and then yanked it out. Wow. That was tough. This was some actual parts cleaner. Get all those loose pieces out with the air can. Yeah. Go ahead and get a flat tip screwdriver. And you're gonna just pry this up. There we go. Cool. Let's pull that out. Get your air can. Okay. Okay, took that off, and 
go ahead and put it in, push it all the way in. Okay, I just go ahead and put the clip back in, in the groove. Might be able to see it right here. And it's on the other side, and then you just push it down. There we go, get a nice snap sound. That's good. After it's snapped in, go ahead and just clip it back on. Okay. You're going to uh, hand screw this bolt in, the 10 millimeter bolt. Okay. Go ahead and tighten it. It needs to be tight, but you don't want to make it too tight. There is no torque set recommendations for this. Great. The wheel speed sensor is now in, the clips are on, we are good. And that's how to replace the wheel sensor. Of course, the next thing to do is just to go in reverse into the tire on and the lug nuts and then to torque the tire to 110 pounds. So you remove and install a new ABS wheel sensor, speed sensor. If it was stuck, you'll know what to do. Just be prepared. The hardest part was just drilling it and heating it and just scooping it out. So once you get that out, the rest is easy. This video